Good afternoon. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, come on back tomorrow. I am headed into acupuncture this afternoon. Yeah, it's afternoon, it's 12.30. Um, and so I'll let you know how it goes. Ooh, what a busy Monday. And something arrived and we didn't even know it, but I'm nervous because the box is kind of messed up. Check this out. Sarah just went to go to acupuncture and she left, went to go leave and this was sitting outside our apartment. But look at this. This is what worries me. That's the chair. Completely exposed like that. Hopefully that just happened when they were moving it and it wasn't damaged during travel. So I'm gonna rip it open and we'll see. All right, here we go. I think it looks good. I'm still going to keep the tag on it over here um, and the box until Sarah gets back from acupuncture so she can approve. I like the color. Um, so it's a glider. So it spins and it glides, which works out because Sarah's not really a rocker for little ones. Um, I more so am. And it looks good. Good structure, good formal. I actually don't mind mine to be too comfortable, so it is more stiff. But I like that because I'm nervous to fall asleep. Like this is a perfect amount of comfort and me not being able to fall asleep while rocking James. But really good, I like it, I think it looks beautiful. Get that in the corner maybe, get a little side table action, crib over here. Coming together, that is, I think it's our baby's rocker. You wanna hear the most Monday thing ever? I go into a 30 minute call that I wasn't even looking forward to and it turned into a two hour call that I wasn't looking forward to. Topped it off with about three minutes before it ends. Sarah is like, pss, 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 pss. so I mute my phone and I take an earbud out and she goes, Chicago Marathon just got canceled. So due to the safety because of the COVID and everything, which is a smart move. Due I mean, to the COVID. Due to the COVID. Um, I mean, like on, to be honest, we expected this to come with the Boston Marathon being pushed to September and then later canceling. And then New York being canceled, and that was in November, which was going to be after Chicago. It made complete sense that Chicago was going to cancel, but it just like stings to to re to see the emails from ACS, to see the emails from Chicago Marathon Association, to see the posts on their website explaining what's going to happen with refunds or deferrals. Um, what's cool about it is that they're allowing deferrals for the next three years, so I could run next year if I want, but that may be too close to World Marathon Challenge. So I could defer to 2022 20, or 2023. But it's just a bummer because, like, you guys know how excited I was. Like, we fundraised last minute. Grant was going to run it with me. He's been training for it. Um, I've been training for it. And it was just going to be my city. Like, I was going to run my city's marathon through all, of, like, there's so many places on that route that, like, mean so much to me. Um, and mine and Sarah's history. I'll do it. I'm, I'm going to do it. So it's just like, it's a bummer that it, it's, it's getting canceled. But it's the smart thing to do and thing that needs to happen. But it stinks. And I can't even go to Disney World to cheer myself up like I would typically do. <laughs> Instead, annual pass holder park passes are gone for another four weeks. And we can't even book the next one until we go to Epcot in two weeks. Oh, gosh. It's a Monday, that's for sure. And not even a typical Brookhart Monday where it doesn't matter that it's Monday. This is a stereotypical Monday. I love our new chair. It's a little bit smaller, but it's like so round and cozy. Um, I can rest my head when I'm all lounged in it. Um, the color is perfect. I think it goes great in, a, in um, a nursery, a kid's room. So I'm very, very happy about it. Um, acupuncture went really good so I haven't been able I don't I don't normally sleep on my back but my back has been bothering me more um, after a night's sleep but also like when I do lay flat on my back it hurts like it's not comfortable whatsoever so I like always have to turn to the side on the couch any anytime I'm relaxing and so typically at acupuncture I am on my back and so I showed a little bit of the room um, when I was there and there was like a, they brought me a body pillow so I could lay on my side but still receive the same treatment. And then they, she also focused on 
my back pain. Um, it's not like overwhelming and I stretch daily to, to make it feel better. Um, but hey, if there's a little extra energy or whatnot that it could, um, it could help it out, then I'm going to take the relief. <laughs> yeah, Peter's pretty bummed. I'm, I, I wasn't going to be able to go anyways. We were always uncertain with um, how close it was to my due date, <sighs> but it's still a bummer and I know that him and Grant were both very excited. Um, I will be able to go and see Peter at his first Chicago Marathon now, as will James, so that is nice, um, but it was just something we were all excited for. <laughs> what happened out here? I asked her to console my emotions and this is what happens. <laughs> she rolls on her back so I can console her tiredness. Also, I was on hold today for like two and a half hours with Disney annual pass holders. And now I just saw something I actually don't like that Epcot's doing. Did you see the clip of Elsa? No. So you know how the character's supposed to be promenading around World Showcase? Mm -hmm. There's a clip on Twitter of Elsa walking past the Japan Pavilion and they have the Frozen music playing at the Japan Pavilion. Weird. I saw a video of Joy frolicking through the grass by like where the flower and garden flowers usually are. That's cool. The reason I was on hold for so long today with annual pass holder billing um, was because, well, if you call any Disney line right now, like you're going to have a long wait, but we had called last month to extend our pass um, to secure our rate and we like got charged like everything like everything was fine they said in a couple of days we would see our new expiration date on the app it never showed up um i just assumed they had a lot to process be patient um but now that it's been a month i called also our passes typically expire in july so it's not it's there's also like a like a what is what is the word i'm looking for like an urgency for us to get it figured out because they are going to it's it still says it's going to expire this month um, and apparently the request is in but they don't know why there was a delay so they put another request in but basically that's all they could say was this shouldn't have happened and so if it doesn't fix itself in the next couple days I'll have to call back again um, so that has been our day so far Maybe we'll just stare at our super cute dog. Peter, I think our dog is frozen. Oh yeah! Oh, that was <laughs> not nice. That was not sorry. nice. I'm sorry. And we hate to be so complainy. And like, I don't want to sound like ungrateful for everything that we've like been able to already do and whatnot, but it's like, it really just brought us back. Brought well, us back to March, back when, every, when the whole world thought that yeah. um, this was all going to be over in like three weeks, and it's not. Because then you have <laughs> three like weeks. Chicago Marathon canceled in October, the New York Marathon in November is canceled. Like, it's just it's like a major world, difference like, in our lifestyle. The here. entire world is different. Yeah, and so will I be allowed to come to like James's birth if Florida keeps going the I same way it is? Right, we just okay. don't know, and. It's hard because as much as like we feel grateful for the roof over our head and everything that um, we do have access to, like we're also allowed to feel sad for yeah. But it's all like, like we, we are thought, what we thought was going to be this year. Right. That but we year. all we completely agree with the choice. Like yeah, like we like I said, it wasn't a surprise that they canceled Chicago. Right. Like we they or should that extreme parameters have to. Yeah. Um, be put in place for Disney to be open so I'm just counting down the days until wine and dines canceled now yeah I mean I wasn't signed up for that but it's just another another thing you know but yeah alrighty let's try this again I'm only going to bake these for 25 minutes so instead of tacos today we're making more of like rice bowls with the veggies I'm going to add some beans to the rice and then we have the toppings still, so that'll be our bowls. And then I'm also making a little red pepper hummus quesadilla thing. Um, I was inspired by the little recipe on the lid when I was eating it for a snack this afternoon. I, I used a pie dish, um, but I have one tortilla with 
the hummus and I'm gonna add up about half a tomato. I don't want it to get too soggy. Um, and then some red pepper and some basil. Whoa. Alrighty, here's our rice. I just heated up our cooked rice from yesterday with black beans and soy sauce. A little less well done today, but still crunchy for the Brussels sprouts, onions, and tomatoes. And here's our little quesadilla. I wanted it crispy. I'm gonna cut it up with a pizza cutter. And here they are. Plate it up. It's a lot of food. I'm done with work. I don't know, I'm feeling feisty today. Um, so I think we're gonna run out, target, see if we can go have fun somewhere, but I'm gonna leave it running and check the servers when I come back. If it's still running when I come back, that's the idea. If it bombs out for some reason, I'll have to investigate. I don't think it could do anything like take down the servers or something, but it's the worst that can happen. I get fired. I still got my wife and my doggy and my baby and my embryos and my angels, so. You ready to go? I'm just rocking away in this chair here. You see this? Oh, oh, tag's still on it. Surprise. Here we go. We're at Target. Looking for a side table for James's room and maybe something to put our legs up on. I forgot what it's called, an ottoman. Yeah. And I kind of like these chairs for the, for the kitchen. Oh, you want? We talked about having cloth. Yeah, like this. Just taller. But taller. Hmm. And maybe with a back. I think we need a back. I think we need a back too. This is the poof, and it will forever be <laughs> called my poof. Yeah, it's the footrest for the chair. We're like. I don't know who we are. Just always just getting all this furniture stuff. <laughs> but I dig it. I really like it. It's similar to one that I liked online, and I think it's sturdier. And I like that we can see it before we buy it. Yeah. Back to school. Ay ay ay. When you don't think you need a car, but you really do need a car. When you thought you were buying stuff for your apartment. We bought this. Bought that spoon. We bought this spoon for one seventy nine. For the purpose of eating ice cream in the car. We just parked the mom one and all I gotta say is, you know you married your best friend and the person that you know you're gonna spend the rest of your life with. When you have a 10 minute drive from the Target to the mall and it's unquestionable, not a, not a single bit of doubt that you should get this ice cream <laughs> and eat the entire thing before you get to the mall. Yeah. And jam to a lot of good songs. Um, look at this thing. It might be closed. Uh oh. Alright, uh, we kind of broke in. Somebody came out through it. So we followed him in, but we don't know. It doesn't look like this place is open. <laughs> this is like Dawn of the Dead status. It's definitely closed. <laughs> Remember the debacle we had about the whole, the light bulbs wouldn't work with the Alexa? We got this, the same GE one that works with the light bulbs. Once we plug this in and use this for the lamp that we got, it'll work with our Alexa and it'll be great. So let me set this up. I'm gonna make us kombucha cocktails. We've never tried this brand before, but it's a mojita lime mint coconut flavor. And then mix it with Canada Dry, probably like, one third kombucha, two thirds, or like one quarter, three quarters. And that is more so for me because this is fermented. It's okay to drink when pregnant if the alcohol content is low um, or basically non-existent, but just gotta be a little bit more careful with me. It is really, really good. I would say I would like some fresh mint or fresh lime juice in it, which I don't have either, um, but really tasty. Do you like the setup? I do like the setup. This reminds me of the Nick Miller sack pack. It looks like a giant hacky sack, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. Okay, but show them what you're even more proud of. Figure something out. The, the camera died right when Peter was going to show. Okay. Check this out. Alexa, nursery off. Ooh. Alexa, nursery on. All right, for the rest of the evening, we're actually... Straying away from 
Disney for the evening, and we're gonna give, oh gosh, Eve wants to play with her rope. You got your ropey? Sarah will play with you. Yeah. Good girl. We're gonna watch, um, we're actually gonna watch Trolls. Never seen it. Never seen it. Violet is obsessed, apparently. And uh, we're gonna give it a whirl. We're gonna watch this one tonight, maybe even World Tour tomorrow or something. We're just like avoiding watching Endgame. <laughs> Why? It's long and sad and then it means it's over. I saw somebody I follow like start the Marvel movie marathon like just a couple of weeks ago and they're almost, they're on Doctor Strange already. Like they're gonna beat us. <laughs> oh gosh. Wait a minute. That's about time. <laughs> That's not Trolls. We loved Trolls. It went by fast. It went by, I think it was like an hour and 31. It's kind of a simple movie. Yeah. It was like, Enjoyed it. here's the bad guy, here's the story, here's the beginning, middle, end, resolution, happy. Like made, the music. Made us feel like we were at a Run Disney event. <laughs> which is All those songs. Bittersweetish today with Chicago, but hey, mm -hmm. it was a good movie. Wait, we got good news. Brian Melpass is returning to Yes. I was at Downtown Disney, Disney Springs. The Disney Springs. Message time? Message time. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. What was that? It's good to be back. Good to be back. All right, T Line. Today is July 13th. Yeah. Because Disney's next week. Today's quote is by. Orison Sweet Martin, Martin, believe with all your heart that you will do what you were made to do. I like that. I dig it. That's crazy. The quote is great. That is crazy. We are that close. I believe every human on the face of the earth needs to watch this scene from about time. Let's take a, take a moment and just soak in the little things in life. Every day. Like this girl's face. <laughs> I don't know why we didn't just switch. I think both batteries died. I don't think we did a good job at charging the batteries. I'll make sure they're both on tonight. Yeah. Um, we want to give our heartfelt condolences to some people today. Because it was not a fun day in the news. No. With Naya from Glee and Grant, just now we had learned from Mythbusters. And John Travolta's wife passed yeah. away. I think between Glee and Mythbusters, that accounted for like, probably, I don't even know, like, <laughs> if you add up all the hours I spent watching both of those TV shows, I probably watched Mythbusters when it was new, mm -hmm. all the way through, and then it was like one of those go-to, always on repeat. Yeah, you shows. always watched I it. I always watched it, so. And um, so. John Travolta's wife's name is Kelly Preston. So, she passed away from breast cancer. Rough day, but... Do you see her day? Yeah. What has she got on her face? Look she's got some food on her face. <laughs> We're going to go to bed. It is good to be it's home. good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.